Hello Power Apps Maker, this is Ahmed Saleh again and today I have a video as I promised talking about the progress bar and how we can integrate this progress bar value uh, process uh, or value change while we are looping through a set of items in our case is going to be a gallery we are looping through items we are changing the prices patching that change back into the dataverse table uh, that we are using as our data source and while we are doing this while we actually have in the for all loop looping through each record in this gallery we would like to show a progress bar that show actually how much has been completed from this process so let's see how it works and then i will explain you how i have done this so what i will do i would like to actually change my prices uh, to change by three so increase the price by three dollars and I will go ahead click increase the price right here as you can see the complete now is working the prices also is changing right here I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom as you can see the prices is changing you will see the changes is happening here in this column and also the progress bar is actually working by the end of this it will be the last change that we have in the last dollar amount as you can see right here right here it's done it's complete so how we have done this let's jump in and see how we have done this so i have this gallery and this gallery just has a table so if i go to the items property of my gallery you can see it's just linking to a table that has this column of prices that we are using in this use case right and then also we have here uh, uh, the progress bar so what I'm doing is once I select the price from the combo box right here this is just a static numbers that I'm using here so if I go to the items properties of this combo box You can see I'm using actually the sequence function. I have just 10 prices and I'm adding just using a kind of function just to show these prices as, as, as you can see here, uh, as we are showing these prices right here in a dollar amount, right? Then after that, in the increase price, for example, both of them, they, it's actually the same function, the same formula. The only difference is one is actually increasing the price and one is decreasing the price. So if I go to the increase price right here, we are using a collection so the first thing i'm using actually i'm creating a collection right here and this collection will hold basically the loop number in what loop iterations we are in now right so it's going to be incrementally increased right so it's going to be increased every time a loop is gone so it starts by zero and then for all the items in my gallery i'm actually patching the change price so i'm using the patch function in the table data source i have order items this record is my record and then the item price basically is equal this record that item price plus what i have selected from that price uh, or prices combo box right the value of that it will change so if i have a price 12 dollar plus the three dollar i i designate it to be the change up up change of the price so plus that price and here is going to be changing and then the, the basically the record is is uh, going to be updated for the new price and then i'm also using a collect so i'm collecting in my collection that's uh, this value that i'm collecting right the loop number is going to be the last of my collection so the last item in my collection plus one right so this is going to be so the first one is zero the last one is zero then the first iteration is going to be one so that's mean i have a new record now i have zero i have one then in the next iteration is going to be one plus one then i have a new record is going to be collected in this collection it will have the number two and so on and so forth and this is going to be obviously matching the number of records that i have in my for all function now talking about the progress the progress bar you can see the progress bar functions that we are using or property that we are using it's actually going to be the max number one and the maximum basically what is considered to be a hundred percent or what is going to be used to fill the whole progress bar like to be completely full is going to be the gallery that all items count and this is a new property of the gallery that we have with the new version releases of power apps canvas apps 
So all items that count. So regardless of how many items you have in this gallery, that's going to be when this progress considered to be full, right? Or completed. The other value, the other property we are using here is going to be the value property. Here, the value property basically is going to reflect the last item in my collection that I'm using inside my iterations in the loop to change the property of the, or to change the value of the loop number. So the last value, so the first, remember, the first iteration is going to be zero. The second iteration is going to be one. So this value of this progress bar is going to change accordingly until obviously it's going to show, uh, you know, the full progress. Uh, uh, that has been completed and it will show me my progress bar as completed or has the full green color right here. One thing I have here, as you can see, I just added a label and this label, basically what I'm doing, I'm using the round function to basically round to the nearest uh, uh, whole number uh, or, or uh, uh, you know, with the integer number without any kind of decimal. Uh, uh, so basically this is the value of the count rows of the and this is the current basically because this is a collection is going to be filled automatically inside the for all loop so it will show me that progress right so every time i'm going to count the rows that's mean how many item has been completed right and then i multiply using just you know a, a formula basically multiply the number by 100 and divided by the total number of items that we have in the gallery minus one because we are starting from zero in that collection and this is exactly what's showing us you know the status as it has been showing at this point right so now let's go ahead and try one more time and this time we're gonna actually try to decrease so again I'm gonna this time or let's go actually decrease by four dollars right and then I'm gonna click decrease every time I click the decrease or the increase it will reset my progress bar back to zero obviously and then it will start the process inside the for all loop iterations to increment the value in my collection so i'm going to go ahead and decrease and as you can see it starts it's working now as you can see it will actually show you the change of the price as we mentioned it's happening right here as we go in if we go down now we will also see that the price is actually is changing one by one and by the end of the list of the prices that we have in this gallery we will expect this to be completed and this is exactly what happened that's it i have the blog post where i'm actually sharing the code and i'm giving some kind of use case descriptions of what we are doing this but there is too many use cases you can think about specifically if you are using the patch function inside the for all loop to patch uh, basic values in in a row based on another value uh, in that same row uh, you can use whatever expression you do again this is working with the for all loop so basically you have to have a for all loop iteration inside it use that collection to increment the value that we created in that collection and use that collection as the maximum value basically the number of rows as a maximum value of your progress bar at the same time it's going to be the value of the progress bar the current value that while this looping it will reflect that one as well if you like this video please like it subscribe and share uh, with others and i will see you in my next video next week bye for now